Russell Westbrook's time with the Lakers is just getting started, and people are already lining up with their opinions on how the basketball star will fare with the franchise. Considered one of the best players in the NBA today, Westbrook has a tall task in front of him. Besides, he'll be playing alongside LeBron, so that's another thing to look forward to. Join us as we take you through it. First up, what even happened? So, Russell Westbrook had what can only be described as his worst season ever in the NBA last season, and it seemed like there was nothing that could redeem him and give the Lakers any chance of keeping him for this upcoming season. However, as the basketball gods would have it, Westbrook was put on the market. Yet, lo and behold, there wasn't a single team in the entire organization that was willing to take a chance on the man. Imagine having your worst season and still getting rejected by the Indiana Pacers. No hate for them, of course. So it looks like at the end of it all, Westbrook is going to be staying in Los Angeles for a little while longer. The big question now is whether he can make a comeback from last season. We mean, last season was so bad that even if he goes ahead and averages 15 points a game, it'll be better. Talk about setting the bar low, ladies and gents. Anyways, we think it's quite apparent that if Westbrook wants to stay at the top of his game, it may be time for him to accept the fact that he probably can't be a starter in the NBA for a while, possibly the entire 2022-23 season. Next up, what are people expecting from Westbrook? Now, the people need to be pleased. The question is, can Westbrook manage to pull through? Stephen A. Smith, a popular sports analyst and a respected figure in the basketball community, thinks that he can. Now, Smith's opinions are somewhat reversed within the community, because he's known to be very impartial with whatever judgment he passes, so there's no bias whenever he talks. With that being said, if he says Westbrook can't have a repeat of last season, fans tend to listen to him. Steven seems to hold the opinion that as long as Westbrook stays with the Lakers and works on his game, there's no way he could play as badly as he did last season. Even Westbrook's teammate, the Game King James himself, holds belief in the basketball star and believes that he will pull through for his team this season. When you've got two of the most influential people in basketball rooting for you, you know you've done well somewhere in life. Now, now, Westbrook is known to have the innate ability to get better and bounce back, even from the worst circumstances. So we're sure that this season will see the man back on top. Coming up, is Westbrook meant to stay at the Lakers? So it's no secret that as soon as the last season ended, the Lakers wanted to drop Westbrook like he was a hot potato. However, fate had other plans. For some reason, soon after Westbrook was put on the market, there wasn't a single team that wanted to take a chance on playing the man who failed the Lakers in such a miserable fashion. No one wanted to risk it. Now, usually, such a thing would be demotivating for most people, not for Westbrook. From what we can tell, the man is gearing up to dominate the upcoming season of the NBA. It's not like he's alone in his thinking. As we already mentioned, popular sports analyst Stephen A. Smith believes that Westbrook can only get as long as he stays with the Lakers. Whether that's true or not remains to be seen. Regardless, we think it'll be quite the moment when he drops a large number of points and drowns all the haters. We can only wait in excitement to see that happen. With his teammate LeBron James also backing him and his abilities, his position in the team may be secure. As we previously stated, he may have to accept the harsh reality that he can no longer be a starter in the NBA and will have to work his way back up from the bottom. Finally, what will Westbrook do now? Well, we think the path forward is as clear as day. To build his reputation back up from the mud that it's in right now, Westbrook will have to work harder than ever before and give his best in the upcoming performances he puts on for the Los Angeles Lakers. We think that he can do it in the best of fashion. He's a hard worker and has always had the hunger a person needs to be good at this game. The hunger to perform at the highest level. Plus, with the support of arguably the greatest player to have ever stepped foot on the court at his back, we think there's very little anyone can do to stop him from achieving what he must do to succeed. Of course, like every great player, Westbrook has his fair share of haters, people who don't think he's got it in him anymore, who thinks he's washed up. So we guess it's up to Westbrook to show them it's quite the opposite, that he's in his prime and nothing is standing in his way to victory. If he manages to come back, it'll be a true story, drawing parallels to the stuff of myth, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Anyway, I think that's enough Shakespeare for the day. The main point is, the man has shown he can walk the walk, and now is the time for him to do it once again. We're going to be rooting for him. Let's see if he can make it happen. First up, is Victor Wembanyama a better prospect than LeBron James? So, LeBron James hit the NBA scene running. The man was a phenom when he first came into the NBA, and today, he's regarded as the best to set foot on a basketball court. Well, we're here to tell you that may no longer be the case. Victor Wembanyama, a 7-foot 4-inch tall Frenchman, is now being regarded as the best basketball youth talent to have ever been seen. Sports analysts are saying that if LeBron had been in the same NBA class as him, LeBron would be a number two prospect. It's almost preposterous, but somehow true. Wimbanyana is slowly but surely taking over the spotlight in the NBA world and has wowed coaches all over. His performance in the last two rookie games has almost sealed his place as the number one pick for the NBA draft of 2023. And we, for one, are hyped to see this young man step foot on an NBA court and prove himself on an international level. It's important to note that the NBA is a whole different ballgame 
game than what he's generally used to, so it will be interesting to see what he comes up with on the fly. Next up, Draymond Green decks Jordan Poole as in practice. So recently a video was leaked online of NBA superstar Draymond Green punching Jordan Poole in an aggressive altercation. Now, we don't have any confirmed reason behind what happened and why Draymond got so pissed, but we do have an update on how the situation is being handled. According to sources, the NBA as a whole has decided to allow the Warriors organization to settle the matter internally. Whatever it was, goddamn was it a hard punch. From what we know, Poole hasn't been severely injured and will probably be game ready. However, there's no telling what the suspension scene will look like for these two stars. Both of them have proven to be pivotal towards the Warriors' success, and it would be a shame to see them at each other's throats, especially considering the great teamwork they managed to pull off on the court. Regardless, we're excited to see what happens as the story progresses. Finally, Steph Curry had something to say about the Poole v. Green incident. So, after the incident between Poole and Green took place, Draymond was obviously in the wrong as a whole, as he was the first one to throw hands. Thankfully, the NBA didn't take any action against Draymond personally and left it up to the Warriors organization to deal with him. The repercussions were big. Draymond was reportedly stripped of his captaincy and the GM for the Warriors, Bob Myers, reportedly asked Steph Curry if he was ready to lead the Warriors now that Green would be out of the picture for some time. Curry's response was hilarious to say the least though. You can never be too sure if he was joking or not. He responded with, y'all gotta pay me more. To which Myers came back with, we will pay you as much as we can. The funny banter between a player and GM is always appreciated. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Russell Westbrook can make a comeback? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.